Hey everybody, it's Taylor with Boys and Grove, and today we're going to start a two-part series where we're going to teach you how to make your own coat rack. And we're going to start with this one right here. Let's get into it. Now this coat rack is going to be very cost effective because I'm only going to be using two 6 inch fence pickets to put it together. You can pick these up at any local hardware store for around $2 to $2.50 a piece. Because I am currently without a miter saw or a chop saw, I went ahead and set up a stop block on my table saw. That way I could use it to make all my cross cuts safely. After I gave it some thought, I decided to go with the cedar fence pickets rather than the standard pressure treated ones. The reason being is because these cedar ones are a little bit thicker, so that means that they'll just be more sturdy, easier to work with, and easier to screw together. The cost difference really isn't much. The cedar ones are less than a dollar more than the standard ones. I had enough leftovers of these fence pickets to make some braces to go across the back of my coat rack. Originally my plan was to use these hooks that I picked up at the local hardware store for my coat rack, but then I remembered that I had these railroad spikes on hand and I thought it would be really cool if I could figure out a way to cut these and use these as the hooks on the coat rack. So I'm going to give it a go and see what happens. Alright, well, it ended up working out great. I was able to cut three railroad spikes for three hooks for our coat rack. I used the tile cutting blade in my angle grinder. I just find that the tile cutting blade works really well when cutting through metals. It makes a nice, smooth, even cut, and there's no fear of a cutoff wheel breaking apart in the process. After a little bit of sanding and roughing up just to try to get as much rust off of these nails as possible, I went ahead and put a couple coats of flat black paint on them. I was trying to think of a way that I could set my railroad spike hooks into my coat rack at an angle. Uh, what I came up with is I spliced a 2x4 at the angle that I wanted and then I used some carpet tape to attach this 2x4 to the bottom of my coat rack. That way my coat rack would sit at the angle that I wanted on my drill press. So when I drilled the holes, the holes would be at that angle. It actually ended up working out great. Now to achieve that country farm look that I'm going for on this coat rack, I simply just painted the entire thing white, waited for it to dry, and then used some sandpaper to rough up and distress the surface. It takes the paint off all the high surfaces and corners and edges, and that way it gives it that distressed, kind of worn look that we're going for. Once that was completed, I found a design I really liked online and I painted it on the face of the coat rack. Even though the railroad spikes fit really, really tight, I still decided to add a little bit of epoxy just to play it on the safe side. These things are never going to come out.
All right, and our first coat rack is completed. I really like the way this turned out. Uh, I wasn't too sure about the white at first, but once I distressed it with the sandpaper, it came out looking really nice. I mean, it actually looks like worn wood up here. Uh, I'm really glad that I remembered I had these nails on hand because it makes such a big difference to have these as the hooks. They're just so substantial. They're really, really strong, and they just look really cool with the lettering and the stamping on them. As far as the picture, it's just something I saw online. It looked kind of cool, so I went ahead and traced it with a pencil, then filled it in with black paint, and then once it was dry, I went over it with sandpaper like I did everything else so it would uh, match the rest of it with that distressed look. All in all, I really like the way this came out. I am really excited about next week's project. We're going to do another coat rack, but we're going to do mid-century modern, and it is cool. So please come check that out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. If you want to see all our other projects, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And we would love to hear in the comments below what you thought of this project. Thank you very much for watching. Be safe and have a great day.